fellow travelers, I'm Kimmy and I'm Carrie and come with us to the Disney Magic. Let's, Let's go. go. We can almost see it out our window. We're so close yet so far away. So just bear with us. I'll show you what we can, uh, but we're trying to find our way around too. So, all right, off we go. Okay, so when we come to the end here, it's at Terminal 4, and there's the Disney Magic. And the sign says Disney Magic, Terminal 4. Okay, so we're getting in to drop our luggage off here. I'm going to get out the car and help the people with our luggage. Alright, we, oh, okay. right, we are just getting our stuff off. And <laughs> DJ's excited. I'm excited. Our two cases are so heavy. <laughs> they are. gonna try to find some parking. And they didn't care that we were five minutes early. Yeah, they, we weren't sure about the time, but we are a little early than our port arrival time, but not too early. So, all right, now we gotta get the ticket to pay to park. Okay, little... ticket window. Wait for ticket. I'm gonna wait. Push the button. Welcome. Oh. Please pay your ticket at a pay station before returning to your vehicle. Please proceed into the lot. Okay, so this is the ticket that we got when we entered the parking garage, and this is what we'll scan when we're leaving the terminal at the end of the cruise. Okay, guys, there's the Disney magic. We're just looking at her in the parking lot. We'll get you guys through the chain there. Yay! It's um, 10.45 and that was our port arrival time. So we're in the parking lot and we're gonna find our way. We are on level three. This is the view from level three. And we're on our way. All right, if you're looking where to go, you are gonna go down to level one where you dropped off your luggage and that's where we're gonna board the ship. All right, this is level one and this is where you'll enter that ticket to pay for your parking at the end of your cruise. All right, and here's the quick look at the prices for parking. And there's the start of the mural. Yay! All right, there's a look at the mural on the wall. And let's go get checked in. Yay. All right, they're already playing some Disney music. There's some more murals on the wall. All right, there's the signs. Good morning. Castaway Club check-in. Okay, this is the new port. The ears are in the corner. Got the underwater theme like Nemo. All right, so first we're gonna check in right here and then we'll go through security right there and then we'll be waiting to get on board and then when we get on board, we'll walk through those ears back there. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys an overview of the port here at Fort Lauderdale. We just got all checked in. We went through security and now we're waiting to board the ship. So there's more seating back here and there's restrooms right there and we're just waiting to get on board. We are just taking it all in. We love the bubbles on the top. I like the bubbles. That's cute. And 
we're gonna go through the ears soon. So up on the TV screens, they have different things going, like different announcements, like the staterooms being ready at 1.30, having your key to the world card outside your stateroom door. Um, just like little announcements like that, that first time cruisers might not know. So it's good to watch the TV for any additional information you don't know yet. Okay, bye. Also, something we had to do this morning that we got in our email was the health questionnaire. It's just three questions and you just have to go through the steps. I'll try to pop it up on the screen so you guys can see what it's like. And then just make sure you answer that before you come to the port. So when you enter, you can take your picture up out here. They have photographers waiting if you want your picture taken. And then, uh, but you don't have to. And then you'll board the ship through the ears. At the port, they do have chargers if you need them. Also, you can get started and get connected to the Disney Cruise Line app and start finding out your schedule, your dining rotation and everything. It looks like we have Rapunzel's Royal Table tonight and we have the Rapunzel Show and we're just checking out the schedule and getting ready to board the ship. Sorry, it's kind of loud in here. Good morning. May we have your attention, please? On behalf of the cast All right, they're doing the family of the day. So they just started group boarding group one. They've already taken the back-to-backers and concierge people, and they've taken the family of the day. They took the family of the day at 11.30. All right, it's time, boarding group one through five. So they're going to check your port arrival form and then we'll board the ship. Disney Magic Queen, welcome aboard Kitty, Carrie, and DJ. Thank you. Yay. Disney Magic Queen, welcome aboard the Redmond family. Disney Magic Queen, welcome aboard the Balad family. All right, hey, please welcome aboard the ship. Okay, so we just got on board. They've got the Halloween decorations up. We're doing the three night for the Halloween on the high seas. And we haven't been on the Magic since 2020. And so they've revamped it a little bit. They've got the Soul Cat Lounge all new. We're gonna check it out with you guys. We haven't been on the ship in a long time. Four years. Four years, right before COVID. Okay, so this is the new Soul Cat Lounge. It used to be known as the Promenade Lounge. They've changed it all up even got his hat and jacket right there from Seoul. They've got some instruments over here on the wall. They redid all of this and I think we're gonna head upstairs to Cabana's and get situated and we'll come back to you guys. Never mind, I've got to record our first time on the stairs. Yay! Cabanas. DJ's taking the elevator. Kimmy and I are taking the stairs. I think we're one of the first people at Cabanas. I've never seen it so empty. Good morning. All right, I'm gonna film for you guys while it's empty. Show you the options. Find a table here. Get situated. Okay. Let me go film while there's like nobody here. I'll start at the end here. Oh, I gotta hurry before the crowd comes. Life of a vlogger. Okay, I'll show you while it's empty, nice and clean. We've got 
chicken tenders, macaroni, french fries. And then they've got special Halloween tags on the food. Showing you guys. This is rice. Got some rolls. Good morning. More french fries, grilled chicken breast. Got some pasta here. Asparagus. Mashed potatoes. Good morning. Got turkey right here. All of those beef. I think it's the same on the other side. Let me see. Yep, macaroni and cheese, vegetables, french fries, chicken fried rice, some vegetable chow mein. And then we've got desserts over here. We've got the apple crumble cookies. Good morning. And all the desserts. And it just keeps going around the same stuff. They got seafood over there and everything. All right, it's time to eat. Oh, I missed a side, guys. They also have salads right here and seafood. These are the drink options here. Remember, it's all included and free. They also have different apple juice, cranberry juice, orange juice, and of course, coffee and tea. And DJ was not waiting time when I started eating. He said, aren't you gonna film? Oh yeah. Okay, we've got, you know, mashed potatoes, pasta, chicken, macaroni, carrot cake, apple crumble, there's DJ's plate. Mac and cheese, steak, pork lo mein, tenders, mashed potatoes. Kimmy's digging in already. Apple crumble. And the pog juice. Or stitch juice, whatever you want to call it. It's here too. Okay, so we just finished lunch at Cabana's. It is offered from 12 to 3. You do have to wash your hands before you go in, and then you can enjoy your food. All right, on to the next thing. Okay, so we're just walking around, and here's the top deck. We haven't been on the Magic in a while, and it's just so much smaller than I remember, but I knew it was small, but it's just small. It's just a baby. We keep saying, it's just a baby. <laughs> All right, time for the first ice cream of the trip. Okay, Kimmy's going. I've got my ice cream, got the swirl. Yay! Okay, so we just finished up at Cabana's and got our ice cream. We're on deck five now. We're um, there's a look at the theater right there, Bona Vista Theater, and these are the shows they're playing tonight for the movie. Got Wish and Deadpool, and next we're going to show you, oh, this is a look at the schedule throughout the week. And then we're on our way to the kids club right now because it is an open house, so this is the time for adults to come to the kids club, check it out. It's a lot of fun, always check out the kids club, they have a lot of cool stuff in here, so let's go. All right, so this is the Small World Nursery. These are for infants. I'll show you guys during open house here. You do need to make a reservation for this and this nursery does cost extra, but any kid three and up in the other kids clubs are free. But if you do have an infant, you can always bring them here. Just make sure you get your reservation in um, time slot that you want. All right, next we're going to show you the Oceaneer Club. These are for kids from 3 to 10. <laughs> the best hand washers around. All right, so here's the Oceaneers Club. I'm going to take you guys around. First up, we have Andy's room. On the Wonder and the Magic, they both have the slinky slide here. You can climb up to the top of Andy's bed and do the slide. Over here, we have the Club Junior area. All right, so here's the Club Junior area. All right, so over here we have Pixie Hollow. All right, here's the Avengers room. We've got Iron Man over here. Captain America's shield, and Thor's hammer. They also redid the bathrooms here. 
just like they have on the Wish. It's so cute. I love it. And then if someone's using the bathroom, the little Pixar ball on top there will light up so you know someone's in there. And then this is just like the storybook theme area. Okay, we're going to take you guys up the slinky slide. All right, and on the top here is Andy's bed. So you've got his bed sheets right here for Buzz. All right, DJ's going down the slide. Bye-bye. Okay, let's go. All right, next up, Kimmy's turn. <laughs> okay, and then under the bed, they have ham right here and Mr. Potato Head. So yeah, really fun space for the kids to come and enjoy. Okay, so coming out of the Oceaneers Club there on deck five, they have a hallway connecting the Oceaneers Club to the Oceaneers Lab. You can see the hallway right here. This is where everybody is for the atrium right here. But through the windows here is the hallway that connects the club to the lab. Right now they have the club and lab, the hallway blocked off, so we had to come on this side of it. So I'm gonna show you guys the Oceaneers Lab if we can get in there for the open house. Again, this is ages three to 10. It's free and everything, so yeah. Right now, we're gonna watch Witch. This is the Oceaneers Lab. They have the Animator Studio. This is the Animator Studio with the light up table so you can draw and trace. In the Animator Studios, if you look closely, um, you can see different things related to the Hotel Hightower. That's him right there. And the patch for the explorers, the Society of Explorers and Adventures. And then they have a picture of Mystic Manor at Hong Kong. And they have the Society of Explorers and Adventures right here in this picture. Little nod to that. They have the craft studio here. Then over here they have the wheelhouse. And then on this side, they have more tables for the kids to do different activities and crafts and games. And here's a look at the Oceaneers Lab bathroom. They have a pirate themed bathroom with a Mickey mirror. I think this is new since when we've been on it at least. Um, I know they had this in the Wish with the different costumes. So I don't remember this being on here. Something else new that I've noticed is some new water bottle and water stations. Uh, water refills. All right, and that does it for the Oceaneers Lab. There are three to ten year olds. They can take the secret passage in the hallway there for the kids, um, connecting the lab and the club. All right, next we're going to take you into the Edge Club, and I think this is 11 to 14 year olds. All right, inside the funnel, this is the funnel with the TV on it. So you're in the front of the ship is five, and these are for the older kids. I think 14 to 17. This is deck 10. This is for five. Go up the hallway here, up the stairs. Here's Vibe for 14 to 17 year olds. They've got different video games over there and a little lounge area over on this side. But yeah. That is Vibe. All right, so we're on deck three now. We're gonna show you guys the after hours. Sorry, things have been a little chaotic. We're just trying to run around the ship and show you guys things while it's open house time. This is the adults only area, this is Fathoms, and it becomes adults only after 9 p.m. So here's a look at Fathoms. This is where they have games and trivias. Some cool seating in the back here. All right, so there's one of the adult areas, and they're already sitting in the portholes. 
All right, let's move on. Hello. Thank you. Then over here, we have keys, oh gills, and sea treasures. Let me show you guys keys. All right, here's keys. Another adults only area. And then we've got sea treasures and ogills over here. So this is a little shop right here, sea treasures. A little window shopping for you guys. Oh, there you go. And sea treasures. Kind of hard to see in the window. But then there's ogills pub. All right, let's go inside ogills pub. Give you a quick little overview. So last time we were on the Magic, we were actually here for Super Bowl weekend and we got to watch the Super Bowl in here. Oh, Kimmy said she just noticed the carpet were shamrocks. I don't think we saw that the first time. Yeah, sorry, it's really dark in here. But. All right, as we're going through O'Gills, I just saw the characters. For the chess pieces. Yeah, for the chess pieces, how cute. And then, and Dale. Yeah. Oh, it is so cute. All right, so that was O'Gills, and then the Sea Treasures was right here, and then this is another door into Fathoms that you can make your way back out, or you can just go back around. Okay, so we're on deck four now. Inside there is the Walt Disney Theater. That's where the Broadway-style shows happen every night. Also on deck four here, they have preludes. Anything from this concession stand area does cost extra pop, popcorn, all that kind of stuff before you can go into the show if you wanna pay extra. And also, Kim and DJ were already window shopping. But here they have the Walt Disney picture right here and the shops. So we have Mickey's main sale. Give you guys a little sneak peek. The shops do not open while you are at port. It only opens while you are at sea. Here's a look at the Halloween merch. Um, over here is a white caps. Little window shopping. There's Sail Away merchandise. They have the Magic Spirit jerseys and everything. Let's get a good look at the Halloween merch just in case. Here's the Halloween merch. Get a shot of it before it's all gone. Just in case we don't see it later tonight. Take a good look now, just in case. And they got some more on the wall over there. Hocus Pocus stuff. What were you saying? We hadn't seen the towel animals. Oh yeah, they came out. They came out with the towel animals as stuffed animals. We have not seen that in person yet since our last cruise. They're up back on that top shelf there. We'll have to see those later. Okay, here's a look at some more set sail for adventure cruise. People are still coming on board. And here's the Joey Chew merch. Ooh, that's so pretty. They've got a bag, a towel, the picture. Beautiful, and like an ornament and a bottle, a water bottle, and a picture frame. Sorry, we're getting towards the lobby, so it's a little louder now. I feel like I'm yelling in the camera. But here's the shop times for the first night. Here's the adults only area back here. All right, so we're at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. This is on deck 10 forward, um, right by Census Spa. Let's see if we can show you guys inside. Right, so this is where the kids can come dressed up as princes or princesses. So they have the different dresses you can pick on it. Elsa. Yeah, so if you want to do this, it does cost extra and you have to make an appointment. And then pirate night, they'll switch out everything and they'll have pirate gear. They also have Captain Mickey in mini outfits as well. Okay, then they have the rooms roped off until 1.30 and you can start going to your rooms after 1.30. All right, they just opened up the hallway so everyone can get to their rooms. So on your fish extender here, they will have your key to the world card right here. 6144. May I do the honors? Yes. There. All right. And inside is our key to the world card. Okay, this is our room 6144. Okay. 
All right, starting on the back of the door, it has the, all the emergency information that you may need and where your mustard drill is, so where assembly station are this time. We are on the back of the ship. They've got the lights here. Since we've been on the Magic, they did add the labels for each of the lights, so that's very nice. Coming right into the first bathroom, Disney Special, they have a split bathroom, so in this one they have the toilet and the sink. Give you a nice look there. They have the well-lighted mirror, the soap right there, and some storage space. And of course you got your Disney towels, and some hooks on the back, and the towel rack. All right, coming out of the bathroom, we'll go to the second bathroom. This is the other bathroom right here. They've got the shower and the sink. Again, they have all your Disney soaps provided for you, the lotions, the back of the door they have the hanger there and some more towels nice about Disney is they have a tub for you and there's the shower these are the body wash soap and conditioner okay get a nice view of it for you when you enter the room, you got the bathrooms on the right, and over here, we to the left, we have the closets. So they have a safe right there. If you need laundry done, they can do that. This is the ladder they use for the bed. They've got hangers. There's your life vest. I'll slide this and show you the other side. So there's lots of closet space right there if you need it. Coming out from the bathrooms in the closet here, we've got the famous picture of Walt and Mickey got the glasses these are the gifts you, they give you on board we'll go through those in a minute and then down here we've got drawers lots of drawer space this is the main bedroom right here this is the bed there is storage underneath the bed to slide your suitcases which is really nice we've got a full-length mirror right to the side here they also have hooks up here Oh, and one thing to note about the bathrooms is do watch your step. It does step up, so be careful about that. There's the bed, the famous Mickey light with all the castles and the cruise ships on it. Plugs, drawer, side table. They also have another dresser over here. The pirate. There's the drawers. Okay, come into this side. They have the curtains that you can divide the room if you need to. If you're a family and need the kids on one side, adults on the other. They have the phone right here. All right, coming from the bed here, we've got the couch. This is a pull-down bed from the side wall, not from the ceiling like normally. Then the couch will also turn into a bed. Then they've got the table right there, and this is the desk area. A little cushion. There's your refrigerator. Inside the drawers here usually have some goodies that you can take home. You can always take home the postcards, the notepad, and the pen, and the drawers, and the mirror, and there's more plugs, and there's storage above. And then outside we have our veranda. Okay, and then we'll show you guys our veranda. So this is a white wall veranda, so we just don't get the glass part at the bottom here. But you still get a great view and a balcony to sit on. Got two chairs, table, and we'll take a look at the port. All right, so these are the gifts on board here. Um, we got the wet dry bag because Kimmy and I are gold members, so you get that when you're a gold member. And DJ turned gold as well. Yes. Sorry, we heard green apples are good for seasickness from Stephanie, so thank you to our viewer Stephanie. I'm giving it a try. Yes. All right, and then we've got our lanyards here. We are all gold, so we'll open up those and show you. And then if you're silver, so two to five cruises, um, you get this Castaway Club bag. And the zipper is very nice. Has the Mickey logo, cruise line logo. Yes. And Carrie's gonna go ahead and open the lanyard up to show you guys. Yes, so we all have gold. This is our last gold for Kimmy and I. Next cruise will turn platinum, but there's the gold. Ooh. Yeah, I love can you stick your key to the world card inside? That's my favorite colored lanyard. Yes. Because I heard that the silver and the platinum, it's hard to tell the difference, but we'll show you guys that later. Yep. All right, so next up, we are getting ready for trivia at two o'clock. 
and then we'll get ready for the muster drill and sail away party. Lots to do. It's been a crazy... It's been going by so fast. It's almost already two o'clock. All right, everybody. So we've made it into the room. Sorry, it's been a little bit go, go, go. It's our first time at Fort Lauderdale, but we didn't even tell you guys our itinerary or anything. Right. So, so we're on the three night for the Disney Magic. We have a Halloween on the High Seas Cruise yep. and we're headed to Lookout and NASA. So this is the first time we're going to see Disney's new uh, private destination. Yay. It's a quick cruise, but... Um, we have more fun coming up after this three night mm -hmm. as well, so stay tuned. And now we're on our way to our first Disney trivia, and then it'll be the Sail Away show and the mustard drill and everything else. So just stay with us, guys. It's always yeah. a busy first day. Yeah. See you at trivia because we have ten minutes. It's we gotta go. Fathom. Yes, okay. we gotta go. <laughs> All right, so we just quick decorated our door. There's the magnets right. we made, and now we're gonna head to trivia. Okay, so we're in Fathoms now for some trivia. Here's the new trivia paper. Hello, buddy, how you doing? Yay. Hello, superstars. Welcome to Fathoms Lounge. Somebody say yay! Woo! Yay! Get your own board. Let's do this. Woohoo! Let's have a fun cruise, everybody. We're gonna do a trivia. Who came here to participate in my trivia? Woo! Very good. This is Disney Cruise Line trivia. Now, the Luna Lounge's design is inspired by the Globe Theater. In which city, everyone? London. It's B London. Good job. Which Oscar-winning pop star started their career on the Disney Wonder, everyone? Jennifer oh, Hudson. That would be C, Jennifer Hudson. That was my baby girl. I called her Jin Jin Girlfriend. She was on that ship with me. So she was in the Golden Mickeys, she was in Hercules the Musical, oh. and she was in Disney Dreams. And we have Disney Dreams here. If you see our show, Disney Dreams, you'll know what she did in the show. And she used to give me my daily dose of goosebumps. I used to get goosebumps on the butt, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Her voice is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Everybody have an amazing day. Welcome aboard. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, guys, we just won our Disney Cruise Line trivia. The ship hasn't even taken off yet, and we got our first medal. Yay! We won our first trivia. Yay! All right, you're going to see what's next. So we just went back to the room. Still no luggage yet, but we have the stars, and you can tell that you're going forward with the point facing that way, so that's forward. The back of the star is going towards the back of the ship if you ever need directions. Our neighbors have really cool lights. Yes, and you can decorate your doors, of course, with magnets only, no tape. They've got some really cool lights going on. It's always fun just to walk the halls and see what everybody's designs are. And we have a little time before the mustard drill and then the sail away party. All right, to celebrate our trivia win, we're on to ice cream number two. All right, so we're getting ready for the mustard drill here. And we are, so we are inside Animator's Palette. Usually we do it on the deck, on deck four, but this time we have a restaurant for our drill today. Long blast of the ship's whistle, accompanied by the sounding of the alarms. Okay guys, I just ran from the assembly station all the way up and I'm the first one out ready for the deck party. Just trying to make sure I got a good view for you guys. And we're ready, almost ready to set sail. Right now, I want to see everyone heading upstairs to decks 9 and 10 midship as we kick off the Disney Cruise vacation at our big sail away celebration. Okay, as you can see, the Mickey hands on the sides here. Got the Mickey hand in the middle. We're ready for the sail away show. All right, so Kimmy and I each took a corner to try to get the best views for you guys. So Kimmy's right there with DJ, and I'm over here on the right-hand side. All right, so we are here at the Sail Away party. Carrie is taking that side of the rope. I'm taking this side so we can get some different angles for you guys because we know that the cameraman actually goes right in the middle for the funnel vision. So uh, we took the ends. I'll see if I can get Carrie's attention. There she is. So we are ready to sail away. Woo! Are you ready to sail away?
some fun needs an open hand. Right now, I'd like you to meet one of my favorite people, and soon to be one of yours, it's your cruise director, Anne. We actually I mean, it rained during the sail away party, so we've never seen the sail away show for this ship outside before. So we're really happy we got to see it outside. All right, we're just looking out at our veranda here and we're sailing away. We're just waving to people as we leave. Okay, so the shops actually opened at five o'clock, so we're gonna take a quick look inside. It's pretty busy, so let me give you just an overview. I will film what I can right now, but if I can't get into something, I'll try to come back to it later. Here's the Captain Mickey's hat. Tumbler, scrapbook kit, got the luggage and the towels, Mickey shirt. Over here we've got some, we got a backpack. Here's Mickey, stuffed animal crews. Some kid shirts over here. Just keep swimming, Stitch, Ariel, Cruise, Moon. I wish this was adult size, but that's kid size. Here's a look at the t-shirts. If you forgot a pirate outfit, they have it here for boys and girls. Again, they have all the cool pirate gear, lounge fly shirts, ears, even a spirit jersey. Here, Lottie. Right there. The pirate night. A Mickey pirate stuffed animal. And then they've got Pluto, like the dog with the key, and pirate Stitch right there. And Stitch is a pirate right there on the on the front. Some more, some more kids stuff, and then you've got. Captain Minnie right there and Captain Mickey items over here. Wow. You're gonna buy the toy ship right there. Turn it around. Oh, it's Donald's boat, Miss Daisy. Right there, haven't seen that before. We got a Captain Mickey baby outfit and a t-shirt right there. Some more pirate gear. There's Battleship, Pirates of the Caribbean. We've got a hook and a hat for Pirate Night. We've got a necklace, eye patch. Sorry, kind of crowded. We're going to come around. There's a shirt right there. Pirates. Pirate shirt. Okay, and then they've got lots of toys. There's the plushies. Oh, they've got Mickey fans. That's new. Haven't seen that before on the ships or newer to us. They've got 
like Beauty and the Beast, they've got Uno, Disney Cruise Line cards, figurines. They've got lots of plushies. They've got Chip and Dale. Oh, they're so cute. So there's Chip and Dale. They're so cute. How much are they? $24.99. Oh, Kimmy, that's so cute. There's the towel animals. There's the elephant and the monkey. I think they have eyeballs now. Oh. Yeah. Balls. And how much are these? $26.99. No, I want to hold it. <laughs> They're so cute. We just hadn't seen them in person, but we know they've been here a little while. I like Chip and Dale too. Yes, you might be coming home with us. Somebody might be coming home with me. Also, don't have to buy Yes. You want that? That's your lounge money. Yes. Did you see they have, um, oh yeah, the, the yeah. knife, the animators, the knife. Animators. and they have a new dish towel set. Ooh. I like that. And that is $27.99. I like this one a lot. Very nice. We need to take a short shopping break to go to the Tangled photo because I'm wearing all my Tangled stuff. <laughs> She's wearing her Tangled stuff and they're doing the lantern photo like they do at the parks. So we're going to go get in that line and then we'll come back to shopping if we have time. If not, we will come back later on in the cruise. Okay, so there's the Tangled backdrop. Kimmy's going to hold our spot in line real quick while I keep shopping for a few more minutes before they do that. So here's some Disney Cruise Line shirts, long sleeves. Of course, you've got the lounge fly that they've made for all the ships now. So there's the magic. Right there, we've got a nice soft blanket. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, $69.99. We've got the polo right there with all the different cruise ships. And the suitcases. Let's come around here. Lots of people, excuse me, thank you. Oh, the stateroom magnets. You can buy those here if you need them to decorate. Here's a t-shirt where magic meets the sea, $39.99. All right, we're going to come over to the Halloween stuff. We've got the fan. We've got the Dooney and Burke, I believe. Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus bag. That is $228. Play Disney Guess That Price. Lots of people. We're going to come around. They've got the Hocus Pocus sweatshirt. Hocus Pocus mug. And uh, Halloween items are limited to two per guest. Coming over to more of the Halloween merch, they've got the Disney Cruise Line candy cone. Here's the back. Disney Cruise Line. A spirit jersey. This is the pin for Halloween on the high seas. They also have the candy corn lounge fly and the Mickey and candy corn light up necklace. They've got some treats right here. There's some more treats. They've got the pumpkin mug right here. They've got the tote bag and they do have the Halloween tree now that you can buy that's like in the lobby atrium. They also have the lounge fly bag and the shirt and Mickey and Minnie and Stitch in their Halloween costumes and this is the only Halloween on the high seas specific shirt and it's only for kids. I wish they had them in adult size but you know. At Preludes for the Halloween on the high seas they have made their popcorn bucket. Very nice. They've got the different mugs. These are actually. It says Disney As Cruise Line. Last time I made any and they've got the villains. And they've got the pumpkin now. sipper and, and the crush sipper. Okay, back in the shops. We just did our lantern pictures real quick. Some more swimwear, flip flops if you guys forgot them. Oh, they've got a little armband floaties. Oh, this is a swim shirt. $70. It says Disney Cruise Line, but it is the swim shirt SPF protectant or sun protectant. Some swimsuits. 2024 merchandise here. They've got a Kodak camera for the water. Cooling towels. More towels over here. 2024 merchandise. Keep moving. 2024 Cruise Line Christmas ornaments. 
Oh, you can stand it up too. Oh. If you don't want to hang it up, you can have it on. It's either or. Christmas ornament or a picture frame picture that can frame. stand up on the table. Some more. All right, they still have some of the 25th merchandise here. Got Disney Cruise Line Spirit Jersey. Oh, nothing on the back. Just a light blue Disney Cruise Line shirt. They've got the ship right there. These are all the different t-shirts they have for adults. All right, so there's the back of one of the shirts. I like that color. Is it cruise line? Yes. All right. Of course, they've got postcards and keychains. Over here in the gift shop, they've got jewelry. All right, we found another Disney Cruise Line shirt we like. This light blue, and Kimmy's gonna show you the back. Ooh, that's nice. Classic. How much are the shirts? The shirts are $29.99. All right, and then they've got the magic ears right here. Oh, I don't think I showed this. They have milk chocolate candy right there, Hocus Pocus themed. They also have different statues here, dresses for little girls. They also have the Mickey statue, like to match the lobby atrium. And they have the magic pin right here. They also have some more cruise line shirts. And more lounge flies. And here's another shirt. And they have a plates right here. Plates and bowls. A cup and a fanny pack. Okay, oh, we didn't do this middle section. They've got autograph books right here. Pictures in it. Okay, we have a lanyard here, but it's like on the stretchy thing, and it has a little clip as well. They have magnets and pens and different books and everything. Oh, this is the Disney Band Plus that you can get here. <laughs> The thing with the Disney Band Plus is most of the time on my wrist I wear a watch and um, a relief band. I'm not too sure if we want to get these, but it is a good option if you don't want a key card to have around your neck all the time. Oh, Kimmy just found a Disney Cruise pin. Look at Chippendale. All right, there's Chippendale pin. Kimmy just found that. That's cute. And then if you're a first-time cruiser and you need a lanyard, they do have those for sale as well. Over here we have a pin board and some mugs. And picture frames. And then on this wall we have the Christmas ornaments. And then they have this little tray right here and some like cookie cutters. Okay, so I think I covered everything in here for Mickey's main sale, or at least a good chunk of it to give you an idea. Um, across the way we have white caps, so let's go in there and take a look. Kimmy's already looking at Joey Chu's artwork here. This one is 55. They also have the tote bag here. There's the back. And there's the front. How much is the bag? I love a good bag. Uh, 34. 34, that's pretty good. That's a big bag too. They also have this blanket right here for $44.99. I'll zoom in so you can see the pattern. Oh, it's very soft too. They also have a photo frame right here. They have cups right here and an ornament. It's $19.99. And they have some more lounge fly and spirit jerseys. They've got more peachy pink collection over here. They also have a Disney Cruise Line mug, tumbler, and that is $39.99. They've got a new t-shirt right here, and there's a hat right there. They also have the new Vera Bradley collection. They've got Beauty and the Beast bags here, different sizes and tote bags. Let's see what else they've got. Ooh, they've got a new sweatshirt. Just the Disney Cruise Line logo and plain on the back. It's very soft. They've got this new zippy right here. 
Disney Cruise Line tumbler, bag, here's a dress. There you go. Yep, so there's a look at white caps. We have to go to the show now. So just give you a quick another look at an overview. Oh, let me show you the spirit jersey and one more thing. Got the spirit jersey right there, another spirit jersey, and this blanket. Sailing away. They've opened the doors, guys. They've opened the doors. We've got to go. Okay, there's the planter. All this fun stuff. All right, before the show starts, I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the Walt Disney Theater here. Tonight's show is Tangled. Yeah. And there's no filming during the show, but we highly recommend that you do not miss the shows while on board. So if you're we're, now we're at the first show and then we have late dining, so we'll do the show first and then dinner. If you have dinner first, you'll do dinner first and then come to the show after. All right, we'll see you after the show. Okay, we just finished the show and we're waiting for the tree lighting ceremony. Right after the tree lighting ceremony, the Sanderson sisters are supposed to come out. So if you want a spot, Kimmy's holding our spot in line right there and I'm gonna try to get the show for you guys. But yeah, so you sit down if you're in the front and you can stand in the back. Very crowded, very small atrium. I am standing in line for the Sanderson sisters. Carrie's got a spot for the front so you can get a good uh, view for that. It's a tight atrium, so just be mindful of the space and everything. And we'll give you guys a review of Rapunzel's um, after the lighting. Oh, Carrie just saw me filming. Something. 
something wicked this way comes. Here tonight, for all to hear, the truest sound of ghoulish cheer. Bring the power of nightmares unseen. Bring them to life. It's Halloween. photo per group. You can hand the cast member your phone and they can take a picture of you on their camera as well. They also handed out their autograph cards already for us. So we did that. It was super fast. So we gotta be ready for it. I'm gonna get in line for Goofy right now and then we'll be going to dinner. Alright, there's Goofy. We're gonna give him some treats. Anderson Sisters did the Rapunzel show and now we're off to dinner and we'll give you guys a review. It's just been like one thing after another. So let's go. Alright, now we're at dinners for Rapunzel's Royal Table. Oh, thank you. Alright, we've made it to Rapunzel's Royal Table. We are table number 64. We've got our bread basket here, the sun, and then they gave us the menu. I did screen record it for you guys, so I'll put that up on the screen. But this is the menu. So I have a Kimberly. All right, we've got our bread selection here. Okay, so this is the kids' menu here. It's, um, when you roll it up, it becomes a lantern, like that. It's a good souvenir, you can ask for them even if you're an adult. And there's the kids menu. Sorry about the lights on the camera. Yeah, it's gonna be a good party! I was like, oh, is it that time? Kids party time! Let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah! Oh, I see. 
Thank you. Who is loud in there? Okay, we just finished dinner and now we're doing some more trivia. Are you here for trivia? Yeah. Are you here to win trivia? Yeah. Okay, so nice. Oh, number three. Who is the original name or city done? True or false? False. false. What was it? Diddy yeah. Dog. Oh my gosh, they know. No. They know. No. <laughs> okay. That's bad for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just won trivia. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you guys are from? Okay, so we just won the Mickey and Friends trivia. Got another Mickey medal today, and we're in line for Donald, and he's also in his Halloween costume. While we're waiting for Donald Duck in his costume, we just wanted to show you guys the treat bags we made. We I did a couple different little tag here. I had one with Joy, Sorcerer Mickey. I had Cinderella for the cleanup crew, and we just did little bags of candy for the cast members. Um, we always like to give them something when we come on the cruises. Okay, so we ran back in for the Mouseketeer. We already started, but um, everybody gets a number when you enter, and then you could get called up and answer questions. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Let's move on to uh, C. Yeah, circles. Let's go for circles. I love circles. I like circles. Okay. Yeah. Rangers. Rescue Rangers. Rangers. Letter G. All right, let's check that. She heard you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now let's move on to question number four. Which of the following Disney animated pictures was released to theaters first? Mm. Yeah. Let's check that. Letter D. Right. Ooh, okay. Final question. What was the name of the evil <laughs> queen played by Susan Saragon in the feature film Enchanted? Okay? Marissa. Marissa. Let it be? Yeah. yeah? All right, let's check that. You went all the way. Oh my God. That was amazing. Yes, you're famous. Okay. Let's go. Woohoo! Alright, coming back to the room, we've got our towel animal and our chocolates. And I think we're about to call it a night. So this is what the room looks like with the couch pulled down. This is the first time we've had a bed that's not from the ceiling that's on the wall. So I've got like this little shelf right here. So that'll be good so I can put my glasses up there. Yeah. I think we're gonna do a quick review of the evening since we haven't had a lot of time to talk to you guys. Yeah. And so then we'll call it a night. Let's talk about Rapunzel's. Yes. So Rapunzel's, the show was tonight. Yes. Um, it the was theater. A, yeah, yeah, it was a little different than I remembered, but it was still really good. Yeah. And I really liked the I Got a Dream with the um, the ruffians and thugs. Yes, um, the snuggly duckling. Yes. yes, so I thought that was really good, um, really good show. Um, I will say on this cruise, I feel like we have a rowdy bunch of guests. Yes. And the we were sitting kind of in the back by the door, and lots of people were going in yeah. and out. The, the cast member came to tell lots of people, stop recording, stop yeah. recording. We have a lot of first-time cruisers. So just please be respectful. And mm -hmm. please, During the shows. Please yeah. just sit down and be there on time because yeah. we had people coming in 20, 30 minutes late. Yeah, really late into yeah. the show, up and down the aisles, flashlights, yeah. people with their phones out. It, it got quiet a little bit, but it was a little disrespectful. But so other we, than that, it was other great. Than, yeah. Other than that, the show was fantastic. Loved it. Yeah. I liked it more this time than the first time, and I loved it the first time, so they did a really good job. We really liked Flynn and uh, yeah. great cast. 
and the tree lighting was fun. It's just a small atrium, so it gets crowded. And Hocus Pocus, Sanderson Sisters, you got to be fast. Yeah, One picture yeah. per group. They kept the line moving. Yeah. We saw Goofy and Donald in their Halloween costumes. Yeah. So this is a three night. So lots of things are happening and it's happening quickly. So. And then we ended the night with the Musketeer. That's the first time one of us had been called up there. Yeah. So it was a little and nerve wracking. He was very but amazed that Carrie didn't use any of the lifelines. Yay! <laughs> so got that. And we won. won the other trivia. So we won all the trivia that we've been to. We missed. We did miss one trivia. They did have a trivia during the, the tree, tree lighting. Yeah, the tree for lighting. Disney Parks trivia, but um, we went to the tree lighting, so we didn't go to that one. But other than that. We, we had a wonderful first day on board. Oh, so if you guys had a great time or a good time here on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and we will see you guys next time. Bye, travelers! Okay, so we're ending the night here with some Hocus Pocus and Pinocchio's Pizza.